Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Adobe. How are you all doing? Hope you're doing great and hope you're staying safe. Please kindly like, comment, subscribe and do all that good stuff. And also please watch the ads. They are very important to me. Thank you. So first and foremost, let me just talk a little. Let me rant a little. Like, is this all they had for us today? Like, this is all they showed us today. When Nancy said, see you next week, in my head I'm like, girl, chill. Like, everything is over. Like, this is all you have for us today. Are we joking here or what is happening? Kilo day, kill... Like, what was, what was that? Okay, you know what? I think I've ranted enough. <laughs> so, today, we had the first knockout stage. Basically, from last week, um, the four judges had their various contestants, six contestants for each of the judges. So, each judge is supposed to go and train their contestants. So, today, we had team Yemi Alade and six of her contestants had to come perform and then she decides who goes to the danger zone and who goes to the battle front this whole show today seemed like it was all over the place too much ads the adverts were just too much yes i know they're trying to make money but at the same time it was so long the adverts actually took more time than the performance itself the performances were very short then ads everywhere and all of that so it was just like yeah, what's up? What's up? So as I said, um, after each contestant performed from Tim, um, Yemi Alade, she I, she was going to decide on which zone or which side the contestant goes to. So we had the danger zone and we had the battle front. So for the danger zone, like it was really confusing what they meant by danger zone and what they meant by battle front. But what I could from what they were saying when. Um, you may already tell somebody, oh, you've gone to the danger zone. Nancy will come, will be like, sorry about that. So it meant like, okay, danger zone is not a so, so good place to be in. And then Nancy will go ahead to tell the other judges that they can as well steal one contestant if they so choose to. That's the, con the judges as the coaches now because they are judges and coaches at the same time. They are going to coach and then judge at the same time. So I'm just going to take it um, as each um person as each contestant performs so for team yemi alade we had tosin we have Lovin, we had vanilla we had um ewa olua hope oh, i did not murder your name we had team ayo and we had kitty so six people for team yemi alade tosin was the first person to perform she performed what now by rihanna <laughs> During, um, because the way they did it, they show the rehearsal stage and then that, that means their rehearsals and then their main performance on stage. First and foremost, I forgot to say something. Omo, Yemi Alade, did you see her dressing? Did you see her, ah, oh, her stylist, please eh, her stylist, please come and see me or should I come and see you? Shall I drop it anyway? I'm coming to see, I don't mind. So, going back to the main gist. Um, Tosin was the first person, she sang um, or she did a rendition on what now by rihanna and um, during her rehearsal yemi kept emphasizing on her giving energy like she should express herself so she should show because this what now is a mu is a song that shows how angry you are like yemi Alani just kept telling her you need to show that anger you need to show that ginger that energy is what we need but when she came on stage she didn't she didn't give us that vibe and that energy that yemi Alani kept emphasizing on so at the end of the day she was sent to the danger zone which um was the beginning of the confusion like what's the danger zone so the next um person on team you know, this is loving loving sang again by one the cool i think so yes and it was just there as well nothing first, i don't know the performances today didn't i didn't really feel it like ah, ah this is the voice nigeria like that energy they brought during we had during the audition stage i didn't feel it in this particular knockout stage it was like two different people came here to just think Lauren was sent to the danger zone as well so then we had vanilla vanilla is so good she came with the energy her voice she has an excellent vocals as well you mean i just kept telling her she has to bring that energy that pumping energy like and she brought it to stage so she After her whole performance, and first and foremost, I feel other coaches are just kind of 
trying to be very cool and calm. I don't feel what I don't think what some of the coaches are saying concerning Yemi Alade's um, contestants are actually true. I feel they're overhyping the contestants. What do you think? I feel most of the contestants were just overhyped because there's some for instance you just hear and you're like Mm -mm. This person did better during audition now. So what's uh, what's happening? Well, you now see the content. The um, coach is now saying, "Ah, you did well. You did this. Well, you did." And I'm like, "Are we listening to two different things, bro?" <laughs> you get. So Lovina and Vanilla Vada scale through the um, to the battlefront. She's the first person from Yemi Alade's um side that scaled through to the um battlefront so the next contestant is um Ewa Ewalua sang dangerous woman by arena grande and she was sent to the danger zone as well although i loved her performance i don't really know why she was sent to the um, danger zone but you know um yemi is the one she's the coach so she decides it then Then we had Team Ayo. Team Ayo too was also sent to the danger zone. I think I love Team Ayo's performance. So it was more like a battle now between Team Ayo and Kitty. Kitty is very good. His song was good. It sounded like I was in a show. That is what how I felt when Kitty performed, and then the keys were on point. He gave the he gave that kind of you know Nigerian songs have that this kind of vibe, and then you now think it's a festival. It just gave me like it's a festival. I'm attending a festival show, more like it. <laughs> Then his vocal was there, energy was there, and uh, we are, what do you expect? So it was now a decision for um, Yemi to choose between Ki Kite and Tim Ayo. At the end of the day, she decided to move Kite to the battlefield, and then Tim Ayo was sent to the danger zone. After that, we now have two contestants um, from Team Yemi Alade who got to the battlefield, that is Kite and Vanilla. And then Tosin, Loven, Ewaluwa, and Team Ayo were sent to the danger zone. So, with what um, Nancy was saying, that okay, the other contestant, the other um, judges had um, an opportunity to steal from the contestants that were in the battlefield or sorry, in the danger zone. I felt now that four people are in the danger zone, maybe the other judges will now or coaches will now come and pick somebody but at the end of the day none of that happened none of that happened so it was now the time for i think what it means is that um team yemi alade would have to pick three people that will move to the battle front and then the other two and um, the other three who are in the danger zone will now go home basically that was what it is so with um Tosin, Loven, Ewalua and Tim Ayo um in the danger zone, one person needs to go to the battlefront to join Vanilla and Kitty. So this is the decision Yemi had to take. At the end of the day, she ended up going with Tosin. So Tosin, we now have Tosin, Kite, and Vanilla in the battle front. The other three are to go home, which is very sad. Like, basically, that's very sad. So I wonder why Nancy kept saying, oh, the other coaches or judges could pick or could steal one contestant from the danger zone. Or is it that they didn't show us that the judges didn't need any of them that was why they didn't show us i don't really know what do you think about this danger and battle front so next week i think next week is um team fouls so watch out for team fouls and who oh, know what's up so from what um team team what do you call hannah team yemi alade from who she has now do you think they are they can meet up or they are going to win who do you think is going to win from this team yemi alade's um contestants that's in person of tosin vanilla and kitty who do you think is that right person that you think has the capability of winning so leave it in the comment section let's talk there let's just there and all of that good stuff have yourself a lovely day bye